Hey everyone, it's Arjun 479 Today we're going to talk about health. Uh, what should you be eating? What should I be eating? What is my diet? What am I doing to lose weight? What am I doing to keep from snacking? Alright, to keep from snacking, first, drink a lot of water. Water is the source of life. <coughs> That's delicious. That's just tap water, too. I drink a lot of tea, diet, of course, and it's zero calorie, so you can drink as much as you want. If you don't believe me, nutritional facts, zero calories, bitch. And you just, you drink a lot of it. It keeps your stomach full. Like, here's your stomach, here's what happens whenever the water comes in. Like that. Boom. Full. Ooh. Excuse me. In which way, a second is boredom. Boredom makes people want to snack. They snack when they watch TV. They snack when they play video games. And you know what? If you're going to play video games and you want something to drink, drink water. Drink diet green tea. Drink diet raspberry tea with the white, you know, diet white tea with raspberry. And then, what you can do is, if you get bored and you're tired of playing video games, or if you're tired of reading books, drawing, listen to music, or if you're on the road, something like that, don't snack. You know, if you are bored, just go ahead, get a good workout in. You know, do a few, you know, do a few crunches. You know, you can do some push-ups. You know, you can do a lot of different workouts. You could do high knees or squat jumps. I do squat jumps every day, you know, during lunch. I, um, well, you know, we'll just get into that in a minute. But, um... So, yeah, you can always work out to suppress boredom, or you can find a different activity, you know. Talk to friends, do stuff like that, you know. Alright, um, my diet. My diet consists of, each morning, I eat a peanut butter sandwich. I eat it on wheat bread, and it's this, they're like smart slices or something like that. It's 45 calories a slice. And I use Peter Pan Creamy, but I only put about a spoonful on. A tablespoon. And I drink it with water. You know, in the mil mornings, I'll have half a glass of milk. Glass about that big of milk. And then it's off to lunch. Lunch time is around 11... Let's see... Yeah, about 11.50 or so is whenever I eat lunch. I eat lunch, uh, it's just a peanut butter sandwich on wheat bread, and then I go to my fourth period class. My fourth period actually splits up in between, so you you have fourth period, lunch, then the rest of fourth period. So during that lunch time, I go into the arena, which is right next to my classroom, and I jog a mile, you know. It gets my cardio up, it works the calves, works the thighs. And I also do squat jumps, I do crunches, I do 100 crunches, and then I do push-ups after all that. And I try to keep sets of 30 on each of them. Push-ups are a little harder after doing crunches and squat jumps and jogging a mile, so push-ups are definitely the work in progress. But, then after that, you know, I go to my classes. I don't snack. If I do snack, I keep almonds with me. Almonds are very delicious. They're a great source of protein. And you just got to be careful, though, because th you're supposed to eat a third of a cup. A third of a cup is healthy when it comes to almonds, if you're trying to diet. Because on my diet, I'm at a 2,000 calorie a day diet. And it's very, very hard. But, you know, that's why we drink so much water, keep us from snacking. But if you do want to really snack, eat almonds. Or, if you can find a very low-calorie trail mix, that's always a good one. But I try to just stay with almonds. Almonds are delicious. They're good for you. So, I go with those. And then, what else? Um, oh, so, the workouts. Workout routine is as follows. Morning. Nothing. I don't work out in the mornings. 
Some people do, some people don't. I've tried it before, I've gotten up at 5 in the morning to go work out down at the gym with my buddies. And, you know, one of my buddies joined track, so it was a little hard on him. Another one just, you know, kind of fell off the wagon. He stays up too much. And he also has to work, so it makes it hard for him. And then finally, um, there's the lunch workout. And then after my seventh period, and uh, school's over, 3.30, I go down to the gym. Not my gym where I pump iron but the school's gym and I work out with the track guys and you know sometimes I do workouts sometimes I don't you know depend on the day but I'm always working out during lunch you can always find me in the arena working out you know eight laps around the arena is a mile and I finally got up to jogging eight laps so I was very happy it, it was a pain but you know it finally it got done so, if I don't work out with the track guys and I still want to get a pump on, do it at home. You know, I have a few dumbbells here. I had a weight bench, but we had to take it out because it was too small. And, you know, I'll just do the crunches or I'll do some push-ups or, you know, all sorts of stuff. I just try to keep myself active. And if I want to go to the gym, I go down to Fitness One, you know, a few miles away from my house. And since my parents won't let me walk there, I have to wait for them to get home so I can get a ride, which sucks. But, you know, so go there, get a pump on. And it's like this Mondays are cardio days, Tuesdays are arms, it's buys, tries, thighs. And really what that means is you're going to work a little bit on your thighs with the squat jumps and stuff like that and squats. But mostly it's arms. So you work your thighs, your tries, you know, you work your forearms, and, you know, as such. It's really an upper body. I also work on the traps. Traps are a very big deal with me. I want to have huge traps, you know. I'd like it. And then I also work on the shoulders sometimes, depending on how I feel. Because shoulders, you know, I mean, uh, you work a shoulder too hard, it's going to hurt really badly. And then, you know, we work on chest and abs. And that's the main workout. Uh, I always do chest and abs every day. You know, you can always work out abs. And you can work calves and abs every day. So, got that, and then, you know, Wednesdays are a leg day, so we'll do calves, uh, both inner and outer thighs. We'll do, uh, you know, like calf raises and, you know, uh, leg presses, stuff like that. And it's also a lot of running and, like, squat jumps and stuff like that. And then Thursdays are sort of a miscellaneous day, you know, whatever I haven't worked on back, or if I miss shoulders, something like that, you know. And then Friday is a recoup day where I don't do much. You know, I'm always doing the jogging. Jogging is always there. And slowly the jogging will go from jogging, it went from walking and jogging to jogging, and it's going to go from jogging to jogging and running, and then to running. So... Definitely. But that's my basic, you know, workout routine. Saturdays, um, Saturdays are kind of a mixed bag. If I feel like working out a lot on Saturdays, I'll go down to the gym, but for the most part, I don't. Sundays, I don't go to the gym at all. I just make sure I stay hydrated and, you know, keep from snacking. I did cheat, and... Last night, it, last night was Friday, and I cheated. I went to Brahms, which is a fast food restaurant around here in Arkansas in the southern area. And it's, it's kind of like White Castle for us. Kind of. But, um, I got their grilled chicken sandwich, which, you know, I mean, that's one thing. But I ate french fries with it. Which was a horrible idea. And then I drank 
soda too. So, you know, I drank a Sprite. It wasn't a large Sprite, it was a medium, but still, I mean, that's, I didn't, I felt horrible afterwards. And then, to top it off, I snacked. I broke my own rule of not snacking. The number one rule, don't snack. That's the main rule in dieting, is do not snack. And I did, I did, I broke it. I broke my own rule, and I felt horrible about it. You know, I was at, in the gym today with my buddy Mac, and he, you know, Mac's a big guy like me, but he's not big, he's big, he's built. And he's sort of my fitness coach, and I was like, you know what, man, I, I feel horrible. Last night I, I ate fast food, which... I really don't like eating fast food. I feel horrible afterwards, but it was, you know, it was grilled chicken sandwich. So it wasn't horrible. But, you know, I told him, I was like, you know, I ate sloppy joe. After that, it was like 10.30 at night. I got some chips, and I got some leftover sloppy joe, and I just dipped chips and ate them. And I felt horrible. I couldn't believe it, you know. After I ate the chips and everything, I was like, oh, God, why did I do that? And I was just so tired of water. And, you know, the worst part is, I film uh, basketball games. And we had the girls and guys basketball games last night. And in between the games, I ate a Snickers bar. Because I was really hungry. And there wasn't a payday. So I couldn't get, you know, something like that. And they didn't have any nuts. And all I had was a, a single dollar. And a single dollar will get you a Snickers bar. And so... I bought the Snickers bar. And I just... I hate myself for it. I do. I hate myself that I did that. Oh, jeez. But any which way, uh, me and Mac are going to go hang out maybe tonight. So I might shoot some video, you know. But that's the dieting. You know, remember, number one rule, do not snack. Second rule... Drink a lot of water. This is Artisan 479. Peace.